Wow, in Virginia? Oh, yeah. Yes, in Virginia. He can just go here. So anyway, the, the situation was that my skin uh, was getting extra dry and then one of my fingers, you know, the, the skin got so bad that, that I could see the... What is up? Good morning, America. Greetings, friends, and welcome to the Bright Side, your nutritional program dedicated to the understanding of the vast world of nutrition and nutritional supplementation. I'm your host, Pharmacist Ben, nutritional pharmacist from Boulder, Colorado. I specialize in using nutritional supplements for other healthcare practitioners who use toxic pharmaceutical drugs and deadly medical procedures. If you suspect that there are natural nutritional roads to your vitality, to your health, to your well-being, and to addressing your health challenges, whatever they may be, but they don't know where to begin, you have come to the right place. As you listen to The Bright Side every day, you are more and more in control of your body, you are more and more knowledgeable, and you know you can overcome any health issue. That is why we are here every day on The Bright Side, helping clear up the sometimes confusing world of nutrition and nutritional supplementation. Over the last 27 years of practicing pharmacy, I've seen drug-free recoveries from diabetes and hypertension and obesity and skin diseases like psoriasis, eczema, Rosacea, acne, digestive ailments, autoimmune issues of all kinds, recoveries that by the standards of modern medicine can only be called a miracle. But what is in the world of the body, what is in the world of biology, standard operating procedure, because the human body, the human biological system is always a healing system. It is always a regenerating system. It is always a renewing system that is designed on a divine basis to heal and renew itself moment to moment. And while it may seem like a miracle to some folks, this healing, renewing, regenerating system is really just the way the body works. If you have questions about health or nutrition or prescription drugs, if you want to get off your meds and get on a good nutritional supplement program, we want to hear from you at 855-660-4261. Try to get on board early so we can get to as many calls as possible, 855-660-4261. If you want to purchase any of the longevity products, you have questions about ingredients or formulations in the longevity products, if you want to get off your meds and get on a good nutritional supplement program, please give us a call at 855-660-4261. If you want to purchase any products, you can always head over to brightsideben.com and take a look at our shopping cart. If you're scared, you can also call the Brightside Bend phone team at 866-735-2470. That's 866-735-2470. And make sure you ask them about it. Joining the Brightside Bend team, helping me and my mission to educate the world about the power of a good nutritional supplement program. If anybody out there is interested in being a business builder, I'm looking for one or two, just one or two business builders who want to make longevity, uh, make some money selling longevity products, make a longevity business or starting a longevity business. It's all for one time $10 fee. I can help you out, means that and uh, body is make sure you talk to the folks at the Brightside Bend phone team. Tell them you want to be a business builder for the Brightside Bend team. Their number is 866-735-2470, and they can give you the full kind of scoop. Combination thereof. And I know All right, thanks so much for joining us on the Brightside. Really we're talking peptides and proteins. You know, it, We spent a couple of weeks talking about glutamine, which is a major building block for the body's most important cancer, most important anti-aging, most important antioxidant, most important healing molecules through the biome. It could also be and using glutamine, as we said, glutamine yeah, foods or glutamine supplements is a great way to boost your own glutathione. Using glutamine supplements is a great way to build muscle, a great way to improve detoxification, great way to improve digestive health. And there's so many benefits to using glutamine as a supplement or eating glutamine in foods. We spent a couple weeks talking about that. You can review the archives at brightsideben.com or benchyxarchives.com. If you want more information on that, we're now moving on to the second component of our try. If you have any kind of peptide, uh, glutathione, and that's cysteine. I make sure you love this stuff. This is my favorite. With well, one of my favorite, favorite amino acids foods. anyway. I've been talking about it for many years for detox purposes. Cysteine is the most reactive, as well. the most the active of the amino acids. It's stupendously important for detox, for alcohol detox, to prevent hangovers. It's used in emergency rooms. We'll talk about all that here in the coming days. Uh, cysteine I is, uh, as I say, it's the most active of, of the amino acids. By the way, cysteine, the well, hairstylists love cysteine. Cysteine is super important for hair. You can tell you got low cysteine levels or you have a problem absorbing cysteine. You have uh, problems absorbing it or you're not getting enough in foods. You're, you're not getting enough animal products. you got digestive problems. You can tell that you're deficient in cysteine if you have brittle hair or brittle nails. Yesterday we talked about brittle nails, but also brittle hair, frizzy hair, hair that breaks or hair that falls off. 
all can be related to deficiencies in this super reactive and super important amino acid. Yesterday we talked about the much underappreciated role of connective tissue when it comes to health and the strength of the body. Connective tissue is the, along with muscle tissue, forms the bulk of the body. Connective slash muscle tissue, they're different, but they're different, but they're related. Pretty much all degenerative disease has a significant connective slash muscle tissue component. Aging, especially the visible signs of aging, wrinkles, skin laxity, skin looseness, are in large part connective tissue slash muscle tissue concerns. In fact, many of the cosmetic aspects, many of the beauty aspects of connective and muscle tissue breakdown are what we actually associate with aging. When we talk about the aging process and we talk about anti-aging, we're not really all, we're very rarely anyway talking about the heart or talking about the liver or talking about the spleen or talking about the lungs. These these parts of the body obviously age as well as other parts of the body, but when we talk about anti-aging, when we talk about aging in general or accelerated aging, what we're really talking about is the visible signs of aging. Nobody really cares. Maybe they do care. Maybe we do care, but we don't really talk a lot about lung aging or spleen aging or uh, intestine aging. We're usually talking about skin aging or bone aging or muscle aging. These are the visible signs of aging, and these are connective tissue slash muscle tissue concerns. Many cosmetic procedures, facelifts, plastic surgery, implants, these all involve manipulating connective tissue. There's doctors who can actually do surgical procedures to give you pecs, like you're in a bodybuilder, give you a big pecs, or, or give you muscly calves, or even a surgical six-pack. i got a friend who's a doctor in Denver. He can actually give you a surgically implanted six-pack set of abs, all of which are examples of doctors surgical procedures that can give you strong connective or pretend to give you strong connective and muscle tissue. They'll really give you strong connective uh, tissue or muscle tissue. You have a calf implant or a pec implant or, or a six-pack abdominal implant. What you've got is an implanted connective tissue. You don't really have strong connective slash muscle tissue. You've got it implanted. Muscle and connective tissue are what we call meat. Whether it's a roast or whether it's a steak or whether it's a hamburger. What we're really talking about when we eat meat, we're talking about animal muscle slash connective tissue. And by the way, the only reason a meat is red meat or white meat is because of the type of muscle it contains. So for folks who are saying, I have folks all the time say, well, I don't eat any red meat, I only eat white meat. The only difference between red meat and white meat has to do with the kind of muscle that they contain. Has nothing to do with their health. Yeah, there's some a little bit more fat probably in red meat, but as far as the redness or the whiteness goes, that's just the muscle. And red meat and white meat are equally healthy or equally not healthy, depending on how you want to look at it. White meat is the kind of muscle that's used for quick bursts of energy. It's found in animals that move quickly. Fish have white meat. Chickens have white meat. They move really quickly. Fish and chicken, uh, they're flapping their wings real fast, or they're they're bolting real fast, or fish move around in the ocean really fast. These, these um. Fast movements require white meat type of muscle. It's called fast twitch muscle. Cows, on the other hand, they don't move as quickly. Pigs also, they don't move as quickly. Their muscles move more slowly. Their muscles are more powerful than chicken or than fish. And all that power takes oxygen, and oxygen requires hemoglobin, which is red, actually, in the muscle. We call it myoglobin. Same idea, though, same purpose and function. Holds on to oxygen. In any case, if you prefer red meat over white meat, the only difference is, is that you're getting a, a, a slow twitch muscle versus a fast twitch muscle and you're getting a little bit more myoglobin than you are uh, when you eat red meat than you are when you eat white meat. For those of you guys who like steak over chicken, it isn't because of the myoglobin. Myoglobin, by the way, is that red liquid that leaks out of your meat uh, in the wrapper and the packaging. Myoglobin contains the iron in meat and it's what makes your meat